Deuteronomy 12. These are the decrees and laws you must be careful to follow in the land the Lord, the God of your father, has given you to possess. As long as you live in the land, just as long as you live in the land, destroy completely all the places on the high mountain and on the hills and under every spreading tree where the nation you are dispossessing worship their gods break down their altars smash their sacred stones and burn their asherah poles in the fire cut down the idols of their gods and wipe out their name from those places you must not worship the Lord your God in their way. But you are to seek the place the Lord your God will choose from among all the tribes to put his name there for his dwelling. To, to that place you must go. There bring your burnt offering and sacrifices, your tithes and special gifts, what you have vowed to give and your free will offerings and the firstborn of your herds and flocks. There in the presence of the Lord your God, you and your families will eat and shall rejoice in everything you have put your hand to. Because the Lord your God has blessed you. You have not, you are not to do as we do here today, everyone as he sees fit. Since you have not yet reached the resting place and the inheritance the Lord your God is giving you, but you will cross the Jordan and settle in the land the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. And he will give you rest from all your enemies around you so that you will live in safety. Then to the place the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name. There you are to bring everything I command you, your burnt offerings and sacrifices, your tithes and special gifts, and all the choice possessions you have vowed to the Lord, to the Lord. And there rejoice before the Lord your God, you, your sons and daughters, your men servants and maidservants, and your and the Levites from your towns who have no allotment or inheritance of their own. Be careful not to sacrifice your burnt offerings anywhere you please. Offer them only at the place the Lord will choose in one of your tribes, and there observe everything I command you. Nevertheless, you may slaughter your animals in any of your own towns and eat as much of the meat as you want, as if it were gazelle or deer, according to the blessing the Lord your God gives you. Both the ceremonially clean, unclean and the clean may be eaten. But you must not eat the blood. Pour it out on the altar, or pour it out on the ground, like water. You must not eat in your own town the tithe of your grain and the new wine and oil, or the first fruit of your herds and flocks, or whatever you 
have vowed to give or your free will offering or special offer or special gifts instead you are to eat them in the presence of the Lord your God at the place the Lord your God will choose you your sons and daughters your men servants and maid servants and the Levites from your towns you and you are to rejoice before the Lord your God in everything you put your hand to. Be careful not to neglect the Levites as long as you live in the land. When the Lord your God has enlarged your territory as he promised you and you crave meat and say, I will, I would like some meat then you may eat as much as as much of it as you want if you place where the lord your god chooses to put his name is too far away from you you may slaughter animals from your herd and flock and flocks the lord has given you as i have commanded you and in your own towns you may eat as much of them as you want. Eat them as you would gazelle or deer. Both the ceremonially unclean and the clean may, e may eat. But, e but be sure you do not eat the blood, because the blood is the life. And you must not eat the life with the meat. You must not eat the blood. Pour it out on the ground like water. Do not eat it so that it may go well with you and your children after you. Because you will be doing what is right in the eyes of the Lord. But make your consecrated things and whatever you have vowed to give and go to the place the Lord will choose. Present, the, present your burnt offerings on the altar of the Lord your God, both meat and the blood, the blood of the, the blood of your sacrifices must be poured beside the altar of the Lord your God but you may eat the meat be careful to obey all these regulations i am giving you so that it may so that it may always go well with you and your children after you because you will be doing what is good and right in the sight of the Lord your God. The Lord your God will cut off before you the nations you are about to invade and dispossess. But when you have driven them out and settled in the land, and after they have been destroyed before you, be careful not to be ensnared by inquiring about their gods, saying, How do you, saying, How do these nations serve their gods? We will do the same. You must not worship the Lord your God in their way, because in worshiping their gods, they do all kinds of detestable things. The Lord the Lord hates. They even burn their sons and daughters in the fire as sacrifice to their gods. See that you do all I command you. Do not add to it or take away from it. 